show you how to uh, remove an OBD pin out of an OBD port. And for what I plan on using this for is for an OBD device or an OBD tracker. And uh, what I don't want is it to be plugged into the OBD port. So I got this uh, OBD port uh, pigtail from a uh, company on Amazon. I don't remember what it was right now, but link will be in the description. And what I, I'm just going to remove the wires that I don't need. So first of all, uh, this red wire and these just black and white wire are the only ones I need. This one's obviously power and these two are ground. So I'm going to keep these two and I'm just going to run them together to the ground, but I don't need this brown or purple wire. So I'm going to take those out, but the first step is on this particular port is to remove um, this little clip. And uh, it's pretty easy. It does require a little bit of force. Um, but once it's out, just pop it out like that. I'll try to keep this in the frame here for you guys. Then, then the inside, you'll see uh, a little tab just in the middle here. And I do have proper screwdrivers for this. However, um, they're not here, they're at, actually at my shop, but if you can see right in here, poke it in, and you can actually lift up that little tab. So, what you need is to figure out some way with one hand to apply a little bit of pressure. Um, you can see that moves out. Apply a little bit of pressure as you're prying up that little tab in there and it's a little bit tricky but once you got it it should just slide right out It'd be a lot easier if I had a proper screwdriver but uh, to make do with what I have for now Once you get it, it's really, really easy. So that's one out of the way. Now I just got to do the purple side, or the other side, so pop this out. And your port may not have uh, these little clips, so it's kind of hit and miss, but I believe the pins should pretty much all be the same. At least very similar so let's go in uh, purple wire right up top here okay. grab my makeshift tool and voila just like that so, uh, if you have these two little clips, just slide them back in when you're done. It keeps everything in place and from wiggling around too much. That's it. Now you can wire this any way you like. Uh, I plan on putting this on a relay. I may make a separate video for that, uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it.